Hi everyone, I am Liv here. We are back for some more Carbol Space Program goodness. Now, I think, I think I've bumbled around, did some contracts, failed some of them, and I think I finally have a craft that can land on the moon. Now, more is always better, right? So, I have Hate Thumper, a few boosters over there. They will detach, they will give me a tiny bit of momentum. So that when I am as high up as I can be, when they can run up empty, i high enough that I can use all six of those without running out of... Uh, w w without going too fast that I overheat myself. At least in the test runs, it did. Um, and then I have the little landing struts over here. It, and the terrier engine that's hidden by the decoupler right over there, which we can't see. But basically, I got a Terrier one, the smaller one, because the Reliant ones were so large that the micro landing strut wouldn't make it to the ground, the engine would make it first. And I didn't want to decouple it because I might need it to come back. So yeah, that's what... what, what what's that leg go, doing there? Get, get, get out of here. So, uh, hold on a second, I'm gonna check if there's anything else I wanna add. Yeah, this craft, this craft is heavy, but since it's such a hard, it's such hard work to actually cut out all the stuff that I can do in a Kerbal Space Program part, I'm just gonna cut you the attempt in which I succeed. So if I cut right here, you know why. All right, off we go. So as you can see, right now this is not. Well, apparently my weight is all over the damn place. And for some reason, I'm still staring at it. Oh my god, what am I doing wrong this time? Okay, I got rid of the fins. And here we go again. No, it's still a freaking noodle. Oh, by the way, I just named it the Landeratores, because it's what we're going to use to Landeratores on the moon. I know Landeratores is not a... Well, as far as making the airship less like a noodle, this failed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is launch right away. Wait a second, all six of you went off at once! That is not right! That's not right! That's going way too fast! The Landeratores will work this time! Well, it won't. For some reason, it used to work before and now it does not. I still retain the idea that the craft was somehow, well, fuck. We can now go into no 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 don't do that you were stable ah oh, i should put winglets on those okay this might work this might work jab bring it back up bring it back up Please, bring it back up. I am fighting it as hard as I can. Sadly, it is not doing it. If you're not going in a straight line, you'll be in the atmosphere longer and you'll overheat from flat out badass speeds. Uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Don't overheat. Yeah, we're through. We're through. Well, what, what, are they going to keep hugging me? Oh my god, we are not doing it. There we go, next stage. And now you better decouple this time, guys. Yeah, I see you attached. You better... You better! You better! You better... Dec 
couple this time. For some reason, I get a feeling we're going faster than last time. We're through 40,000. The atmosphere is getting a lot thinner over there. At this point, yeah, we should be fine. And there we go. This time, you decouple. Oh, wow. You decouple beautifully. Wow. <laughs> I'm loving this, oddly enough. So, okay. While we're on momentum, where we should activate this stage and push it. Push our or uh, push our suborbital orbit into moon range. There we go. We're almost there. We're almost there. Boop. There we go. Now, if I can just, if I can just put this craft towards a place where I can fix this, because yeah, normal. No, this is not the right way to go. I will go this way. This way. The radial in and radial out will uh, change my orbit of some such. There we go. Go up higher. 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 There we go. We are parallel now. What, what sucks though about doing this is that it messes up your apoapsis a little more. But oh well, let's see. There we go, it should be good enough. How much fuel do I have left? Oh boy, I have over half! A little bit over half. But I have it. Okay. Catch me, man. There we go. Now, we are not on crash course, so what we want is to actually do that. What happens is that our apoapsis is way too off the chart, so we want to reduce it. Or might it be just easier to... Yeah, it might be easier to just radial in towards the mun. So, basically I'm gonna use my eyes over here. No, turn the craft in direction of the mun. Yeah, I think it's it's radial out, I think. But basically, if I put myself over there, if my theory is correct, no, it's not correct. It's the other way around. It's the other way around. So, I was on radial out, so I just need to give myself some way. Wait a second. Are you having trouble? Are you having trouble holding it together, Jeb? Because you are not going as fast and as I thought you would. There we go. Uh, no, stop it. Stop it. Oh no, am I at that point where I can't fight my own momentum? By that, at, if this keeps on, you know what? I'm just gonna keep breaking in the other direction. Oh crap, I messed it up. Up! Oh. Well, there we go, that was easier than I thought. Okay, I can control it if I thrust. So, as I thought, this will make this go closer and closer to the mun. You know, I should just go retrograde at this point. But I started over there, so I might as well finish it like that. So there we go. You see that it's getting lower, lower, lower. There we go. That's a good angle. And I hope I have enough fuel... To make it back to Kerbin. So now we need to put this retrograde. Because retrograde is normally towards the body that you're trying to align yourself to. 
You know, I should not slow myself that much. I should wait till I'm a bit closer. And now I'm at some point where I cannot, I cannot afford to... I don't even remember what I was trying to say. I do that a lot of times. I always forget what I'm about to say as I'm about to say it. And you might be wondering why I'm giving little, little engine thrusts. That's because for some reason I can't control this ship's position well. So what I gotta do is give it a little thrust so that Jeb can retain control of it. And now I don't have as much fuel as I hoped I would. I hope I can make it back to Kerbin. But there is no gravity on the Mun. So there is no atmosphere question about this. So yeah, I was saying I cannot afford to time warp anymore. Oh, by the way, let's put those struts. Uh, wait a second. No, I did not mean the engine. I meant the struts. No, I did not mean the engine. I meant the struts. Extend them. So they'll be ready and I won't forget about them. So there we go, 30,000. That should be about a speed where I think about slowing down. <clears throat> and yet, I still feel like I'm not close enough to actually start. Then again, it's not its not a little height, it's 700 meters per second. I can still slow down a little bit. Oh boy, that's not, that might not be too soon, actually. I see it coming fast. But this is working, my speed is going down. I just hope it's going down enough. Oh my, are we gonna make it? We're not gonna make it, are we? Ah, no, don't crash, Jeb! Don't crash! You're going slower and slower, you can make it! No, you can't make it! You can't make it! Fuck! <sighs> One more try. One more try. Wait, 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 what is happening? What am I gravitating upon now? Seriously? Oh, I'm on an escape course? Well, let's fix that, okay? Let's go prograde for a bit. Because I do not want to follow this path. Okay. Jeb. Oh boy, you'll need me to hold you. Don't you? And up. There we go. So I'll just work the periapsis as I get closer. Oh, we're gonna land on the dark side, aren't we? The dark side. Oh, I do. I sure do hope those rumors about cookies are true. Okay, we might need to use radial after all. Just gonna give myself a little bit of juice so I can control this like a tiny itty bitty bit of juice yeah it's going down so this radial might be the good deal stop going up yeah that's fine go over there There we go. I want it to be a bit flatter. There we go. I still have half my fuel. That's cool. So where's the mun? Where is the mun? Oh, there it is. So let's warm a little tiny bit closer. And this time, this time, we will slow down a bit earlier. There we go, a hundred thousand. If there's anything my last try has taught me is that I can... It, it cannot be too fast. I mean, I gotta calculate my fall speed a bit earlier than this. 
So yeah, let's keep... Yeah, let's do it right now. Let's slow down our orbit a little bit. Oh, I was in orbit. If I wasn't in a crash course, I would be in orbit. So let's slow it down to about 100 meters per second and just keep it there. That way I won't have to slow down like 700, uh, 700 meters per second and... No! Oh, dear God, why did I do that? You know what? I'll come back to this later because now I just decoupled myself up. Oh, God damn. Well, I made a crash land. I guess that's good enough for now. I'll make a proper landing next episode, I swear. Oh, God damn. Oh, seriously, it might not look like much to you guys, but I spent over an hour just trying to get that right. And, again, that might not seem like much to you, but I got work in a few hours, and I got, I got to spend time on editing this, and I got to spend, oh, so much time to, I need so much time. Oh, I wish I did this for a living. Oh, well, that's life. It's got to happen someday. So, thanks everyone so much for tuning in, and we'll be back with some more. See ya!